What's going on YouTube? This is Jim Afanis, aka Viper Magic, and I wanted to briefly talk about video game reviews. So, obviously, I think it goes without saying that everyone has an opinion, and everyone is entitled to an opinion, so I might think a game is amazing, you might think it sucks, so on and so forth. But I think something that's interesting that I've been seeing happen a lot is a lot of major game companies, sites that do reviews for a living, are really missing the mark on a lot of things, at least in my opinion. And it's really making me question a lot of the news I get from them. And as a result, I've really leaned more towards YouTube. Obviously it makes sense because I do a lot of videos. Um, but I find that the people who do like the Let's Play type videos and the just random reviewers of people I've never heard about seem to hit the mark more often than not than these game companies. Now, you could argue that there's some sort of ulterior motive in place, there's some financial reason, or that the marketing department demands that a certain game is rated a certain way, but it seems more often than not these big, big, big games, these big AAA titles that come out are getting reviews that don't really seem to fit the current gameplay. A couple of them come to mind, actually. The one that really opened my eyes to this uh, problem was Assassin's Creed Unity which was completely unplayable. Now at the time I was still working for, uh, on the freelance for film games, etc. And um, I was gonna review that game and it was so broken that I had a hard time with it. I actually rented it first. Usually I just buy games, but I had heard that the game was maybe not so great. Um, but the reviews were, they weren't horrible, but they weren't, like doom and gloom and I don't know actually let me look it up real quick and see if I can find the Metacritic score because um, I believe it was in the 70 percentile let me look here and see so according to Metacritic and I actually yeah the Metacritic score was 70 percent and is that game really a 70 percent I don't think so maybe it's been patched to that now but when it first came out it was very broken you all remember the really ugly bug with the faceless guy and even in the um, discussion of the new Assassin's Creed game coming out later this year, they actually took a couple minutes to go back and talk about how bad Unity was. I mean, when have you ever seen that? So much so that they've completely scrapped multiplayer to focus entirely on a single player experience. Does that seem like a game that's a 70% to you guys? Not to me. So that was kind of my first indication that the reviews are a little wonky and it's not like I had an epiphany or anything, but uh, that was the first time I really noticed that something was up. Um, another one is one that I'm currently playing through right now, The Order 1886, which got panned by critics. Now, game of the year, it is not, and sure, it has its shortfalls. I am not a big fan of the persistent border on the top and bottom of the screen. I think a lot of the gameplay is very repetitive in terms of this very slow narration where you walk between a few corridors, you interact with only a very few set of items, and then you open up into this miniature sandbox where it's five minutes of never-ending enemies and a cover mechanic that is pretty standard with games like Gears of War and um, maybe like a Grand Theft Auto, kind of where you have that tactical cover and you're moving from point to point, taking out enemies. But um, it's still a really fun game. Um, it there's some really cool weapons in the game. The plot is hit and miss, sure, but it's definitely more fun in my opinion than not. And I looked at some of the reviews of that and they panned it and said it was horrible and I think it's all right. I think I'm actually having a good time with it. Um, so again, my perception is different than the reviewers. And now um, uh, Heroes of the Storm just went live technically. I mean, it's been for people like us in the technical alpha we've been playing for I don't know, over a year. I don't even know when I've been in. I've been in it for quite a while now. So when I saw that some of the reviews were lackluster and people were kind of comparing it to League of Legends and saying that it was a little too, um, it was boring, matches were steamrolled quickly, clearly doesn't know how the game is played because <clears throat> I've logged in over a thousand games and I can tell you that it's, to me, a very well-balanced game. Now, yeah, sure, just like every other MMO, every other competitive game, there will always be gameplay balances. That's just something that happens. So you're going to have characters that are a little more powerful than they should be at the beginning or characters that are a little stronger, a little weaker, or whatever, and it balances out. Um, but again, the reviews were a little different than I expected. So very odd to me. Um, this has really, really tainted my opinion of reviews. So again, don't know why this is. And this isn't just one specific site I'm talking about. There's a few. It's not that hard to guess what the big name ones are. But um, 
it's very surprising to me that the reviews are consistently uh, contradictory to what I feel. Now, that doesn't necessarily make them wrong and myself right. It's just interesting that um, really in the last year, this has really started to change. And I don't really know what's changed in the video game landscape per se. I mean, you still have journalists out there. You still have people who are a little more critical about things than others. I don't think our standards of gamers have increased or decreased dramatically. Um, there's plenty of games to choose from, so it's not like we're forced to stick with a certain game or not. Um, I don't know if the companies are hiring the wrong type of people to review the types of games in terms of people are really more uh, a fan of a certain genre and they're being forced to review something that they're not, but... You know, there was a couple comments that were made in a couple different websites regarding Heroes of the Storm, for example, where the, the facts that they gave were just flat out wrong and incorrect and just not how the game is played. And uh, it was very clear that the person reviewing it had never played a MOBA before, let alone a team-based MOBA. Completely understood the idea of, of objectives and lanings and everything, and it was just very, very odd to me. So... I don't know what the problem is here, and I don't really see it getting better anytime soon. Um, I'm very skeptical with reviews now, way more than I used to be. There used to be times where I would blindly buy a game based on certain reviewers' feedback. And I'm not going to name which reviewers they are, obviously, just like I'm not naming the sites. But there are certain few reviewers that, on blind faith, if they said, hey, this game is worth getting sight unseen, I would buy it because I trusted their opinion. And I've lost that connection with the industry. And I'm not really sure how I would get that trust back because I've seen a lot of games come out that are just very, very good or very, very bad that aren't reviewed like that. And it just seems, I don't know, out of place to me. So I guess my question to you all is you guys feel that some of these game reviewers are on par? Are you um, skeptical like me? Or have you just always embraced the YouTube culture and just seeing is believing, let somebody else try the game online for you to get an opinion of it? Or are you, you know, are you partial to certain developing studios over others? It's interesting. Um, with E3 just a little over a week, a uh, little under a week away now, actually, um, it's interesting to see as some of these reviews come out, or not reviews, as some of these games are debuted, and you see somebody come on stage that you remember. Are you going to say, oh, that's so and so's game company, and that's so and so, and oh, they're going to make a good product? I'm going to pre-order. Or are you one of those people that says, you know what, uh, I think I'm going to set this one out and I'll let, the, uh, I'll let the people speak via YouTube. So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please do me a favor. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you all think. I'm closing in on 100 subscribers. So thank you guys very much who have uh, stuck with me since the very bitter <laughs> two subscribers when I was one of them. <laughs> That's really, really cool to me. So uh, continue to keep growing this channel and uh, continue to do at least videos mostly nightly again now that work is starting to pan out in terms of my workload and i'm going to shut up now so until next time i will see you guys on the other side